your first Alert 5 weather with Alex O'Brien. It's now 714 on the Saturday morning. The sun is slowly starting to come up today in between those low clouds. Now yesterday was our active day of the entire week. We only reached a high of 40 in Pueblo and we reached a high of 34 in Colorado Springs. The best part about yesterday is we got some good moisture, about a tenth of an inch of liquid equivalent precipitation in Pueblo and about 0.27 liquid equivalent for Colorado Springs and the official snow total for the springs was 1.7 inches at the airport. So looking ahead, it's a cold start today, but we are back on the warmer, drier, more spring like trend for the rest of this weekend. So right now we are starting in the 20s and 30s, depending on where you are, you're either just above or just below freezing. And if you are below freezing and seeing fog this morning, the trees will look really nice and pretty, although you'll probably have some icing on your car. So our storm system as a whole is pushing to the east and and causing a lot of trouble for the Midwest and the Mississippi River. But as far as conditions go here, we are nice and clear now. We'll be dry through the rest of the weekend and our temperatures will be following suit today. We'll be just above average in Colorado Springs to 52 and in Pueblo we will reach a high of 55 today, just below our average. Winds will get a little bit breezy by this afternoon, but they are starting on the light side, especially apparent since we have those low clouds still in place. They'll continue to taper off here from west to east through the morning. Notice as temperatures across the entire area will be warming to the 40s and 50s by lunchtime, eventually mostly seeing 50s for our highs today. Very stable air masses in place. Everyone is feeling very similar through this afternoon. Watch as more low clouds build in by early Sunday morning. So another chance for some fog, maybe some freezing drizzle, and you could still see some icy spots early Sunday, but that should thaw out quickly. Those low clouds will, will be replaced by high clouds through the afternoon, and then we'll see temperatures a couple degrees warmer. Now looking ahead into next week, we're tracking our next potential major snow or rainstorm. Now the temperatures are still up for grabs here with this system, although I do think we are trending towards the snow aspect of this storm. Notice how this area of energy will be centered right over southeastern Colorado. That arrives on Thursday and our long term model outputs are suggesting that the end of March could get quite active for the country with above average precipitation, a likelihood here in the state. So we'll continue to watch that potential, but for the next at least four or five days, we're going to be dry and actually pretty nice. Here's a peek at your highs across the region today. 40s into the far eastern plains where those low clouds will linger for longer, but then we're on a nice warm trend through the weekend. Watch as those temperatures climb from the low 50s today, mid 50s tomorrow, and then 60s by Monday in Colorado Springs. And then we've got a chance for some more unsettled weather by midweek. Best chance of that comes Thursday. For Pueblo, we got mid 50s today, 60s tomorrow, 70s on Monday. Nice warming trend before we get a little cooler, a bit more unsettled next week. Canyon City, we've got 50s to carry us through the weekend upper 60s Monday and then we are watching for cooler weather and potential precipitation next week and we'll then park great couple of days ahead low to upper 50s for the next three days. Some beautiful days of sunshine ahead um, mm -hmm. and then if you've missed the snow it'll it's probably going to come back yeah so just hang tight for that mm -hmm. it'll yeah. be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right Alex thank you.